Hey, so welcome back to the channel. Hey, you know, it's been a long time that I've been talking about this 2018 Audi S5 Coupe. I know we had a lot of things going on, a lot of work to be done. I was moving from the East Coast to the West Coast. So, you know, this is going to be a quick rundown of what's going on. So as you can see, this is going to be a snippet of what you're seeing right now for the last thing that we left off when we were when we were work, working on this car so now this is just to remind you guys where we left off and where we're heading right now but also i want to give a huge shout out to d and s collision repairs because they're the one that has the cars the car right now um so they're taking on the work right now while i'm in the west coast but hey Watch this video and get ready and let's hop into it. Stay positive, stay motivated. And the link is gonna be in the description below of where you could find D and S collision repair. Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of We Rebuilds. So today you can see we're back on the Audi S5. So we're here in Maryland today to check out some of the stuff that we have going on. So we're just gonna hop straight into this video. Like, share, subscribe, drop your comments and thoughts down below. Turn your post notifications on. Hey, and check us out, check us out on Instagram and all social media links. And also, make sure to check out the, the, the store and pop yourself some merch, okay? So let's hop straight into the video. Don't know how I feel that way sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Think I think that we can set out on the weekend. Funny how I kinda like Now, as you can see, that you have the engine mount arm um, right there that we just basically disconnected off the engine mount support bracket that's still connected to the subframe also. So as you can see, there's one bolt on the left, one on the right, and one down at the bottom. So as you can see, I'm pointing right there to show you that, hey, that connector is broken. And you have, um, just to show you how to basically remove it so it's going to be a 10 millimeter um star so that goes you put it right there for that one and then the other two sides it should be a 13 millimeter so you could do use to touch both um basically loosen both sides so as you can see i'm pointing at um those two holes on holes on the other side so as you can see the engine mount has a little bit of damage right there uh, so that one was on the passenger side and then you could see that this one from the driver's side or yeah so this one is from the driver's side where you could see that some of the damages so it doesn't look bad right there but then as you could see when I turned it over to the next side you could see all the damages right there so we end up getting the 034 Motorsports engine mount. So as you can see, they already removed the subframe, the engine, and all of that, which you already know that we removed the engine and the subframe. So now they took the engine off the subframe. So now what he's about to do, he's already um, started drilling out some of the spot wells right here, as you can see, and they're right here. So they're about to take this piece off the other car. And then as you can see over here, he already start working on over here so we have the parts for that it's in these boxes right here to, to put on this side to make sure it comes back over here and then over on this side we're gonna take this piece out too so we still have a lot of work on our hands as you can see all the parts that are down there already took off on this side so far so that's the hood for the car and that's the bumper right there. We have the rest of the stuff. We have the drive shaft, 
I uh, got it from a guy on Facebook Marketplace. He sold it to me for like 300 bucks. And then these are the wheels. These are the bad ones. We still have the good ones back at home. And this is the exhaust. As you can see right here, this is the engine and the transmission. So they already disconnected almost everything so far, at least everything. So the engine is out and the transmission, even the subframe because he's gonna align the car with the subframe. So here is the rest of the parts for the parts Audi. So as you can see, this is um, most of everything off the front that we're gonna need. So we're gonna take this frame out. So we're gonna drill all the spot wheels all the way down to here and come around and make sure we have the right here also. And then we're basically gonna take this piece out and put it on the other one and do the same on this side. So this is everything. So that's a wrap on this episode on We Re Goods. As you can see, I'll give you a quick walk around of what's going on with this RDS5. So we know the next step that we're about to take to get some more stuff done on it. But I'm gonna leave. I have to run back to North Carolina to grab some more parts again so I can come back in Maryland and drop them off for it. But Anyways, like, share, subscribe, grab, drop your comments and thoughts down below. Turn your post notifications on. Hey, check us out on WeRebuilds.com so that you can grab yourself some merch and support the channel and support this build of the 2018 RDS5. We're going to have more merch coming out for all the builds that we have coming out. But until next time, stay positive, stay motivated. So I just removed the airbag module. All of these, the, these wires, I'm still gonna take it to out of here, and I'm gonna put it on this module that's right here. So I'm trying to remove as much as this as possible. Cause